Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Elegoo Mars 3D printer. This is a resin printer and um, today we're going to just set it up and do some test prints or at least a test print. Now this is an example of the finished product. I, I took this from after setting it up and just put this clip at the beginning so you can see what to expect. So we're going to get into the setup in just a second here. And here we go. Here's our printer. We're going to look in the back first. There's a power switch and a, a USB port. You can plug a USB drive in there with your STL files, your 3D files for printing. And um, <clears throat> you see I've already put the, the build plate on already. So um, that, that part's not included in this video. But what we are going to do is we're going to loosen it. So we're going to loosen the bolts on the front and on the right side. Um, so, so if, if you look right, you, you'll, you'll see the, the bolt is out of view, but you'll see how I, I loosen it. So we're loosening the bolts on the, on the build plate and the build plate is this, uh, plate that, um, lowers down into the resin vat. So, um, the whole idea is that we're going to try to get this build plate aligned and so, see there, there you can see I'm loosening the uh, bolt and, and there the build plate is nice and loose now. So we're, we're going to get it. We're going to align the plate. And then we're going to tighten those bolts right back up again um, in just a bit. So here we're, we're unscrewing the, the bolts that tighten. Um, you know, they, they hold the vat. This is the vat right here with the transparent bottom. And we, uh, we just un, untighten those two screws or two bolts on each side. And we're going to put a sheet of paper in there. And um, then what we're going, and I think that's more to protect the surface. So we, we turn it on. We're going to lower the build plate onto that piece of paper, and then we're going to try to align it in place properly. So here we go. You see the LCD turned on, and here's the LCD up close. Click on Tools, Manual. I'm going to click on the build plate button, and that just tells the build plate to lower down. And we're going to pan up here in just a sec. So here we go, zoom out just, and there's the build plate lowering down. So it'll lower down by itself until it stops right there. And now it's basically just touching that, that the, the platform there. And um, <clears throat> what I'm doing here is I'm just lining it up perfectly. Once it's aligned just right, um, I'm going to actually tighten those bolts. It's going to take me a minute, but... Um, yeah, you see there's the bolt on the front and the bolt on the, the right side, and I'm going to tight. you can't see the other bolt, but you'll, you'll see me tightening it. And I, I alternate, so I, I tighten it a little bit on the, in the front and then a little bit on the side, um, to, just to make sure it's, um, it, it's secure and that it doesn't get um, pushed in too much in any one direction. So I'm going to tighten it up a little bit more in the front and on the side again. There we go, we got it nice and secure. And now you, you see I've, I put the resin vat back in and tighten those two bolts, one on each side. And here we are, we're gonna go to tools, exposure, and we're gonna change the exposure <clears throat> so change, lowering the exposure time, I believe, should uh, increase the speed of the of, of your print. So I believe the exposure is how, how long it's exposed to the UV light um, between each each layer. I, I believe that's how that works. So I, I set it to three so that it should go a bit faster. And now we're going to go back here and we're, we're going to plug in this USB drive in the back of the printer. 
And th this holds our STL files or our 3D models that we want to print. And I I'm just going to print one of the default models that comes with the printer. So this actually comes, it comes uh, with some software you can run on your PC and also with some, a, a bunch of different models that you can actually print. So it gives you a lot of demo models to print. And this is the resin bottle. So standard poly photopolymer resin green. This is basically, it's, it's actually transparent green or, or translucent. UV wavelength, you know, 405. Um, what, what else? It's, it's Elegoo brand. So I figured that would be the most, um, you know, the, the most compatible, most likely to be compatible, but you should probably be fine with, with, with other um, resins. And, um, yeah, the, well, the one thing to be aware of is that this resin is actually pretty dangerous. You don't want to even breathe in the fumes. You want to have a lot of ventilation. You know, it's highly toxic. Don't get it on your skin for sure. Um, and definitely, obviously, don't get it in your eyes. You're probably going to go blind if you get it in your eyes. But I, I can't confirm or deny that. But I would probably try to avoid getting it in your eyes at all cost. So j just be really, really careful with this resin. Store it somewhere safe. Um, and, that, and that's, you know, j j just be careful. So we're going to close it up here. Um, so we, we've got the resin in. We've got our USB drive with our models plugged in. And let, let's see here. Here's the LCD. And we are going to click print. And we can navigate to the directory with our models. And right, right here, this is the Rook model. This is pretty much the most standard generic one. This is actually a good sample of, of what it can do. It's, it's pretty detailed. And so there you go, we, we've started up our print and it's gonna take a while. I think it took about four hours, maybe slightly more. And you see the, the build platform is lowering down there. And I, I really wish I had taken a um, time-lapse of this because that, that, that would have made for a, an excellent um, clip in this video, but I didn't. So the build platform lowers in there and in a minute we're gonna cut away to the build platform being risen up in the, you know, the finished product. And we're going to show you how you clean it up and stuff, or how I did it anyways. <clears throat> and see, it goes up and down a little bit, and then it stops when it, it's in the right spot. And it's it, it should be curing it later. And here we go. I cut away to it being finished. This is four hours later. later. And there you can see the two models hanging from the build plate. And uh, we're, we're going to take this top off here so you can see them a little better. We're going to actually scrape these off the build plate. So you can see too, they, they still look wet. Um, I believe I, I let, left this going overnight and, and um, they're, they're still wet and kind of glistening like that when I first take them off. So we, we pull the build plate off, that's pretty easy. I didn't show how to take it on and off in the originally, but that, that's all you have to do is, um, you know, all, all, all you have to do is um, un unscrew that thing. That, that, that's, that's pretty simple there. And anyways, um, Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to scrape these off into this uh, into this plastic container here. And you, you have to actually use 90% uh, um, isopropyl alcohol to clean them. Um, you, you can't just quick rinse them off in water. There are resins that are water washable. This resin is not. And uh, there I messed up and I dropped one of them on the table. I'm gonna have to clean the table up too. You don't want, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna get this resin anywhere. You wanna be really careful with the resin. They actually give you, um, rubber gloves and a face mask with the kit um which is uh I, i'm not using either of those things here maybe i should be but um i think i use like a piece of paper to pick the yeah. so i'm using a piece of paper to pick this up and you see i have some resin on the table there i'm gonna have to get that cleaned up um so alcohol is is the, the preferred uh, material you, you kind of need a lot of alcohol like if you kind of go through alcohol real quick you might think um you know a big expense would be resin but you, you have to think about the alcohol you're going to end up using too now um Elegu actually sells um they, they sell a machine for cleaning and curing your your builds when you're done i don't have that yet but i'm thinking about probably picking one up and you might expect that in another video now see here here, here we have isopropyl alcohol um, I believe it's listed as lab grade um, but but the big thing is that you want 90% um, my gut is telling me you might be okay with 70% like I feel like that would wash it off just fine but they say don't do that just use 90% so I try to submerge these in alcohol and you're supposed to do a couple different rinses 
So you do, and, and they're laying on, on their side in, inside this container, so they're both submerged. So you're gonna rinse them off really well. And um, I, I, I think I did that twice. I didn't actually show myself swishing it around in there. But yeah, rinse them off. They're still a little wet, but they're drying off. Um, but yeah, there you go. You can see that nice detail in there. This is the same clip that I put at the beginning of the video. But um, excellent detail, excellent, excellent quality. Um, as far as curing, you have to leave them out to be exposed to uh, to UV light for a certain amount of time. And um, you, you might have to, uh, you can leave them out in the sunlight and supposedly that does a good enough job of curing them. But um, you can also get a curing station, an actual machine. It's like a container you put them in that actually will cure your, your um, you, you, you put them in there and it just exposes it to a bunch of UV light and it will cure the resin. It will cure your builds all the way through. So once it's done printing, it's not actually done. You, they, it does need to be cured. Um, so yeah, you can cure it in a with a with a UV light in a, a curing machine. It's, it's like this chamber that you just cure them in. I'll, I'll do another video, um, hopefully, about that when I buy one. Um, but uh, also, supposedly, you're, you're fine if you just leave it out. Like, you, you can leave it out in the sunlight or something, and it should cure just fine. Um, but it takes a bit longer, and it's, um, I, I don't know, maybe less deterministic or something. But um, supposedly, that should also work. And... Um, so that that's about it for this video. That's that's everything we wanted to cover. Just quick setup, you know, how how to calibrate it and stuff, how to you know choose a model and actually print it, and, and what you should expect. Little bit about cleaning and curing, and, and that that's that's everything we really wanted to cover today. Um, we're we're definitely going to be doing a lot more of these videos. Um, I'm thinking about picking up an NFDM printer, um, and that there's a few different brands out there I'm looking at. I, I'm going to pick up at least one. In the near future and we're gonna have some videos coming out on that we're gonna do a little do more um elegoo mars videos um check the link in the description I'm, I'm starting to build out the 3d printing section on our site so we're gonna have more um 3d printing videos on this channel we're also going to have um more 3d printing content on our site just check the link in the description and um if you want to buy this printer, I should have a link in the description to this model and some newer models that are out now. And what what else should I say? Um, so, oh, also we have a ton of other great tech-related content. We're doing electronics, um, you know, hardware, server hardware, PC hardware, mobile hardware, um, single board computers, Raspberry Pis, um, just. Every, everything um, technology related. We're doing like AI, um, coding, uh, machine learning, all sorts of interesting tech related stuff. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, um, you, you, you might want to subscribe to the channel and you're probably going to want to hit the little bell icon so you know when I come out with a new video. It'll alert you if I if I do come out with a new resin printer or, or any, any, any tech video I publish at all. It'll just give you a little alert when that video comes out if you hit the bell icon also. Um, give us a thumbs up, but more importantly, leave a comment down below because we want to know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, um, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, and I, I try to read all the comments eventually and, and reply when I can. And um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you found this video useful or at least interesting. And um, well, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.